This just might be the perfect clutch. You can really go in with something quite casual. But this is my perfect just dressed up enough kind of outfit that I like. I have so much more to wear. Oh, this looks beautiful. So this is a shade and it reminds me a little bit of 09. I really looked at all of the shades. I think the packaging is beautiful. I love this minimalist packaging. Thanks for joining me for another vlog. It wouldn't be a vlog if we didn't have unboxing. And last time I showed you those Dolce Vita shoes, and they actually sent me another pair, but they arrived after I posted that one. And these are really great for summer. So I had some like this, gosh, maybe five years ago. And it was time to update them because they were getting kind of old and a little bit worn after that many years and we have here this sandal now the reason i picked this i don't usually pick high heels anymore but this one has a platform so if you look at the angle the heel height actually isn't that tall i mean it looks tall here but you have to subtract this as well so you get a lot of height here but it's not a total wedge either so you get more stability with a heel like this as i was thinking about it i think i should have really looked closer at the Mary Janes as well, because those are very much on trend, even though I don't do trends. And they're something I would definitely wear, so look at the Mary Janes as well. But I thought these were great for spring dresses, summer dresses, that kind of a thing, something that's gonna take place on a lawn because you don't have a very thin heel. So I know whenever there was any event on a lawn, I'm looking for more of this wedge style heel. And these are really nicely done. So of course I will style these up and the flats for you. So thank you so much Dolce Vita. I do have my picks selected as well if you'd like to see what else I'm considering on their site. I also ordered another Sizzly foundation because I liked it so much. This one's in 3W2. So we're gonna see how warm that is compared to 4C. So this is a shade lighter than that one. So I'll do an in-depth review on that because I like wearing this with their uh, base with a titanium dioxide. I like using it with that um, and I don't love wearing foundation But this is one that I don't really mind on my skin. So it's more of a daily wear got here another order what is this? Oh, yeah, I ordered some things from uh, Saks Fifth Avenue Beauty Oh, I was like first I thought I didn't order a sweater doesn't that look like a sweater that looks like a sweater to me I forgot that there was some gift with purchase that threw me off and also the picture looked very different than this this wow this was a gift with purchase and it's a really nice bag I thought it was gonna be small and maybe vinyl but it's a nice canvas material it's almost like a book bag great for summer and then wow so many samples in here Let's see anything interesting we've got a, a super goop spf 40 that's a good one. Oh, decorte i've been using their products oh this is a nice one so 111 skin i love their uh brightening mask this is one of their masks these are actually quite good i don't love samples because i feel like they create a lot of clutter oh brunello cuccinelli eau de parfum i don't know what their fragrance smells like but i like their designs i just don't like those little monini i think they are such a cute little bottle i don't know about this fragrance at all i didn't even know they did fragrance okay it smells clean let me let that settle in what else do we have something heavy it's mind games another fragrance this one smells sweet though oh look there's a little la mer a teeny tiny little la mer sample if you ever wanted one um this is actually quite a nice gift with purchase that I wasn't even considering. Actually a nice bag, probably use it for groceries. Now for my order. So I ordered this because I got into the Sizzly Brightening line. This is the Targeted Dark Spot Corrector. So I know that I'm seeking to brighten these dark spots here, still working on it. And I was using the Fenty one, actually it's quite effective, but it's a little bit drying. This one looks like this and I'm gonna start using this today. A little applicator here to get to those dark spots. So I'll let you know how this goes. Okay, so then we also picked this up. So this is a refill and I was trying to get a handle on, is this a new one or the new and updated powder? Because I really loved their loose powder and then they did away with it and then they came out with a pressed powder or I don't know if they came out, but then I went to the pressed powder because that's all they had. And then this is supposed to be an updated one. The claims are pretty substantial on this one in terms of absorbing oils and things like that. So instead of going for the packaging, I just got this one in the refill form. 
and we'll see if it fits in the old packaging. I didn't want to buy a new case for it because I feel like that was relatively new to me. So we'll see if this powder is any different than the previous powder. So this item is something that I looked for, gosh, all over. So you know I am an anti-trend kind of person. It's really hard for me to find things that I love. I've been on the hunt for a black clutch. Now with the Chanel double flap medium, that was gonna be my perfect clutch. But since it's gone up in price so much, I'm not super comfortable wearing that out because I worry about it too much. Plus, even though I love the logo on it, sometimes if I'm wearing something else that signals another brand or even Chanel. So if I wanted to wear my Chanel slingbacks or my Hermes heels, I don't want another logo on top of that. So I was looking for something with no logo and it can go with any of my other items that may have a logo present. So I looked and looked and looked. I looked really here, there, everywhere. It didn't really matter the brand. I was looking for any brand, it, obscure brands. I was looking for anything with a logo, minimal or not evident. Most of them had some kind of stamp or the logo was a little bit too visible and very recognizable. So I know I posted this on the community tab and some of you mentioned that you appreciate that this is not a bag that everybody has because I feel like we see the same bags over and over and I don't want to have a bag that everybody else has. I want something that will last forever, very timeless. The other one that came really close to this was the Saint Laurent Manhattan clutch. That one was really nice, but I didn't see that it was as versatile as the one that I picked up. So this is the one that I picked up from a brand I wasn't considering. So this is gonna be my third out of five items. So I only have two things that I can pick up. And I think I was considering the sweater by Laura Piana. And I was considering a Laura Piana bag and or, or, a Chanel tweed. Now that Chanel tweed jacket's gonna be really hard to find, so I may not even get that this year, so we'll kind of be a toss up between a Laura Piana bag and a Chanel tweed. And of course this Chanel tweed will probably be pre-loved. So I thought this was gonna be really timeless, something I'll have forever, and those are my favorite kind of pieces to pick up. So when I saw this, there was only one question I had, and then I was able to kind of sleuth the internet and look at images to see um, if I could have my question answered before I got it. So this is it. This just might be the perfect clutch. So it's got already a detachable handle, which I love. No stamp on it. We have no stamp on it. Um, but this one, it does have a logo, but it's very, very discreet. It's right here. So we've got this handle on here inside is a satin finish. It's really pretty. I'm almost afraid to put things in there. I'm gonna have to maybe take one of my Chanel canvas bags and line it in there. It opens like this. My phone does fit in there. I tested it out. I love that it goes all the way on the sides. So it's very clean lines, very classic as well. So my question was, if you remove these, does this remain? See these little circles where you attach it? I didn't want it to show. And in one of the images I saw, the woman was holding it like this with me showing, and I thought, why would those show? I was able to figure out that these, they are on a kind of a hinge here, so they can be folded inwards like this. So from here to here, and then you close it, and they are not visible at all. Yeah. To me, you can wear it like this. You can have the handle on there. It really depends on how you want to use it but I just was so happy to be able to find this. And I also showed that it was on a promo. So I love that a promo can also be applied to this bag in some situations. So let me know if you picked this up with that promo, but this is one of those timeless, timeless bags that I can wear with other logos now. So I'm really happy about that, but I think this really is the perfect clutch. So I will style up Gosh, I've got to style up a few things here. My shoes for you, this bag, and my other shoes. And also we have a lot of decluttering to do, so we'll be doing that in this video. But I wanted to show this to you in case you were on the hunt. We have a lot of events to go to, like evening events, and I think this would be really perfect for that. 
I've already pulled out so many things I need to go through and this is just one of the bags. We have lots of hourglass palettes and I'm really torn about what to do with these. And then in here we have more hourglass, lots of Dior. So I don't know how much we're gonna get through today, but let's see what we can do. Just took out a few because I just have so much, but let's look at this palette. It's the 833 in Mineral Rose, which I don't even, I don't even remember this one. Oh, okay, yes. So it was this one. This one had some of like sheer shimmery shades by Dior. We've got a Suku blush here. These were very nice. This is in Sumiro. I don't know if these are still available, but I'll swatch along the way. It's a pretty one, but I didn't use it. Then we have another blush in Haruoto. Some of the prettiest blushes, but I didn't use these. We've got this, which is a lipstick. This is 750, it's by Dior. I think this must have been holiday because, oh, old, definitely. Here's the shade. And then it had a the CD on the inside. That's cute. I didn't use it though. This one is in Diorific 005. I'm just gonna swatch wherever I have any room. Oh, it was like a kind of a, it had a bit of a glow to it, like a golden glow and a more of a brown base to it. We've got these Rodial blush drops, which were very nice, but I haven't used them Gosh, in a while. This is in Sunset Kiss. Rodeo products are very nice. Um, it's got like a peachy, corally. It's pretty. It's got more of a metallic kind of finish though. We've got a By Terry Brightening CC Serum, which you think I would have gone all the way through, but I didn't. This is an Apricot Glow. Why I didn't use this, I don't know. But there it is. Here it is, golden glow. It's more of a golden glow, or maybe it just turned color over time. I'm not using my By Terry products, so this one's going. Let's get some more Dior items out here. Suku, more Dior, more Dior, more Dior, Dior. Okay, so let's see. We've got here, this is a Suku palette. This one was very nice. This is in 06. And let's see. Oh yeah, this is a nice palette. I feel like, there it is right there. I feel like these Suku palettes were next generation before the next generation palettes. They're really nice. But I don't use them. Okay, let's go through some. Oh, there's another Suku here. Oh yeah, this one was kind of a fun one. This was in the shade 08. And let's see. There are the shades. I forgot how nice the Suku quads were. Let me know if you love any of them. Okay, we've got a Dior print here. This looks like it was a holiday palette, I'm guessing, because of the patterns, usually a little bit more special on there, the design. This is in 779 Riviera. There's the swatch. It's kind of like a reddish color. Actually reminds me of Mitza a little bit. I may have said that when I originally did that palette. Let's take a look and see if we have Mitza here. Oh, here it is. So we have here Mitza. These are still available, these quints. And this is in 689, and there is a for sale coming soon. So if you're interested in any of these, there are swatches, but I also have thoughts on these quints if you were considering them. So here's Mitza. You can see why I think they're the same. Actually, let's take them out. Yeah, they do remind me of each other for sure. Okay, so odd to the right then, we have Mitza right over here, and then this is the uh, Riviera. So they do look 
kind of similar. But Revere has a little bit more of a coppery orange tone to it. This is, well, what is this? I don't even remember this one. This is 157 Magnify. Wow, this must be really old. So I'm not gonna swatch that because I feel like that's not even available anymore, but it looks pretty. I, if there was a palette that had these shades now, I would probably buy because I really like this color story. I think it's really pretty. This is another holiday palette. You can see the buildings in there. Atelier Doré. And I don't think this one's available either, so I'm not gonna swatch that. I'm running out of places to swatch. I'll swatch the ones that are still available. And this is, must be another holiday because it has a, this one has a matte case, so this is a limited edition. And I think, I think this is limited edition. This is in 519. And then we have here a Dior lip. <clears throat> I didn't use this as much as I thought I would. My mom actually would love this color, but I think it's a little bit old. 629. Oh yeah, it's got a nice like warmth to it. I feel like that warm apricot-y kind of shade. It's pretty. Yeah, my mom would definitely love this, but it's too old to pass along to her. And then we've got this one. Oh yeah, this one arrived broken. I remember that's why there's a chunk out of that one. This is the Pope line. I remember it was Pope line. And then there was another one that was really sheer also, which I don't think this is available. This is 839. Eight, no, I wasn't going to swatch, but I just want to see. There's so much pink in here. So that's, that's Pope line right there. Kind of sheer. And then there's a lot of sparkle in that one shade right there. Okay, so that's just some of the Dior palettes. I have a lot more. I think I am going to just get rid of all of those. Okay, I've got lots of Tom Ford too that will be decluttering. I'm just not using the palettes, although there are some that are really lovely. So again, if you were considering, this is 35 Rose Topaz. And I'm gonna say these, gosh, it's kind of hard to see. These are more of that next generation palette, also creamier kind of texture. Very nice, but I don't use it, so that is going away. We have another Tom Ford palette here. This is in Mercurial. I remember this palette it has kind of like a rosiness to it. That's Mercurial right there. Yeah, I don't use it, so it's going away. Another one. Gosh, Tom Ford packaging though is really, really nice. If you like Tom Ford, I just, I'm not that interested in Tom Ford makeup right now. Oh yeah, this is one of those face palettes where I just realized I don't really use them like I think I would. I don't use face palettes. I really do love the idea behind them, but I find I don't use them to their potential. This is in Intensity One Red Harness. I don't know if these are still available, Those are all of the shades there. Actually, that's watched pretty nicely. But again, I don't use it. We have the Natasha Denona palettes. Okay, so these were very impressive. I think I have both of them somewhere. It was nice and creamy. I remember that. And this one is in the shade, the dark palette. Actually, that's watched better than almost anything that I just watched for you. So if you're interested, I remember really liking this palette.
we have another rodeo product in frosted pink remember this one reminded me of like oh gosh that's what happens when i still have makeup on my fingers hold on it reminds me reminds me almost of a nail polish color or like bubble gum something candy related it's pretty as well We've got an Ilia foundation, and this is in the shade, this is in Bowen SF4. Now, I wonder why I didn't use this, because this seems like a product I would have used frequently, but maybe it's because I just have so much makeup. Okay, so that is Bowen. That does look like my correct shade, doesn't it? Should I try this again? Maybe I should hold this and try it one more time. So I like Ilya. We have here a foundation code eight radiate beauty balm. And this is in W W20. Okay. So it's a little bit peachier than the Ilya, but also looks like a shade I would wear. I don't remember why I didn't use these except that I'm just wondering if it's because I have so many really, really gorgeous products. And I gravitate towards the ones I love and then even if they're great, I'm not using I'm not using them. Okay, we've got here another Dior lip in and the shade is Midnight Rose Velvet. Oh yes, this is definitely a limited edition. Can you see there it's got that beautiful design on there? Really pretty design. And that is a shade that's a little bit bright for me, but if you have the right coloring, I think it just would have been too bright for me. Yeah, I didn't use this one as much. It looks for my taste now a little bit bright though. We've got here a rodeal lip. This is in Cosmo. And then it's just like a translucent with just a bit of like a pearlescent kind of glow to it like a crushed diamond pearl kind of effect we have here a did I feel like I did this one already and or maybe not I did a lot of Charlotte Tilbury me I didn't do this one this is in seven warm again for the upcoming Sephora sale these might be really helpful swatches so Hopefully I'm swatching the ones you want to see swatched. So that is seven. It has a, like a more olive -y tone to it compared to the other two I just did. The Illy and the Code 8. Although it does look like it's changing a bit as I have it here on my arm. Just slightly peachier than the initial swatch. Interesting. I've got a by Terry. You know what it is? I think I liked by Terry when they had the other packaging better, the more heavy duty packaging. When they, when they moved to this packaging, I didn't like it as much. I don't know if the actual formulation changed or if it's just merely the packaging, but I really liked by Terry when she first started. Um, and this is in apricot glow as well. have a glow to it it's kind of like um, luminous light by hourglass a little bit like that more glow than something like a dim light oh yeah and this product I really liked actually if I had a new one I would use this but it's not new anymore it's the peach low lighter and this is from where are you from this is by is this from Rodeo? Oh my gosh, I can't think of who, who makes this. Oh yeah, this is Rodeo. And this is great for like a light coverage right under the eye. It looks a little bit light, but it does a nice job. I really like this product. In fact, yes, I would definitely wear this again if I had it. 
kind of reminds me a little bit of something like a Chantecaille or the Camouflage Stilo, kind of a lightweight product like that. Just brightens. Oh my gosh, I have so much more Dior here. I have so much more Dior. <laughs> don't know if we're gonna get I mean not even I'm not even a fourth of the way through the bags I just showed you so I think we're gonna see this in different segments because otherwise this is gonna be a five hour video <laughs> so I'll just put little bits here and there uh, as I declutter because it's gonna take a while so we have here a 241 uh, by Dior it's funny I know people really love Dior lipsticks but I don't I don't know. I don't wear them as much as I wear other things like my Chanel lipsticks and my Chantecaille lipsticks. More quince. Oh no, this is a blush. This was, uh, that went with that pretty lipstick with a design on it. This is in 556. It's limited edition. Yeah, 556 limited edition. And then we've got... Another limited edition. This was three five set. No, three five nine cosmic eyes. Yeah, so when I say I've tried a lot of makeup, I've tried a lot of makeup. Not as much as some other people out there, but I feel like I tried a lot. That's going away. Like most of these are going away. I think these though, these more permanent ones. I don't know. Please let me know what you would like me to do with these. This is in jungle. So I like this because it's unusual, but it's wearable. Like the Prada, those are unique, but not as wearable. I really love the colors in the Dior Quince, even though I don't wear them as much. And my box is overflowing. It's not even containing them anymore. Okay, we've got here Triple Bloom 663. Oh, this was limited edition. Right there. And then we've got this, this might be our last one of these today. It's in 669 Soft Cashmere, which is a great, really pretty neutral palette. I'll do one more swatch of this so you can see it. I think the shades I don't love in the um, Dior Quince are actually this one has some intermittent shimmer. That finish I don't love and I also don't love this one that's mostly sparkle but there's no pigment behind there really. I do like the satins and the mattes. Those are nice. So I wish the configuration was a little bit different in the Quince. That might be why I didn't pull for them as much as I would have liked to but I did enjoy them when I initially tried them. Okay, so we have all of the things I just went through just here and the bag does not look like I made a dent. I'll show you the bag. Yeah, I still have like, that's the bag I started with. I still have a lot to go through there and then I have a lot to go through here. I didn't even touch that one. So, oh gosh, this is gonna be many, many videos. So hopefully the swatches for all that decluttering helped. I do have a little bit of um, like wearing away of the makeup right here just because I'm doing a wear test right now. Um, but you should see that in a short that I'll be posting. I'm trying to do more wear tests on shorts. So do make sure to tune into shorts if you don't tune into them because I do some wear tests there as well. So we're in the middle of a wear test right now. So let me actually go ahead and style these up because I haven't done that yet. Then I have a Guerlain and a Chanel order to open. Got here the heels on with the Jenny Kane Cove dress. I don't know if I've seen this blue come back yet, but I'll keep my eye out because it's a great dress. It's got lining all the way through. This is a medium, so it's more roomy, but it's a smart about the shoes. But I thought we would dress up this dress. It does have the potential to look a bit like a nightgown, just the style, but I think with the heels, it dresses it up enough that it's great for brunch. And like I said, anything on a lawn where you wanna avoid really pointy heels, 
It gives some nice height without it being too steep of a heel because of that platform on the front. So we just have here a square neck knit dress and you can, you can dress it up with this. And I'm gonna put the flats on here in a minute with the same dress and you can see how it'll change up this entire look. But you can really go in with something quite casual. Okay, we've got the same dress with the ballet flats now. So if you want something a little bit more comfortable, but still really, I think, tailored and elegant and really effortless. So I just paired it with an oversized blazer and the Jimmy Choo clutch, and I just have the flats on again. It's a really quick way to pull something together if you wanna be a little bit more professional, but still comfortable, because it's that flat, very flat heel. Another look I just thought of that's really quick is that Reformation strapless silk dress that I got, gosh, way early in the year, last year, no, this year? What year is it? No, last year. <laughs> I think it was last year I got this. I think it was 2023 I got this dress. But you can just pair it again with that oversized blazer. And then we've got the clutch again and flats. So a little bit dressed up, but still priority number one is comfort. And I'm sure you know I was gonna style this with my Neely Low Ton denim that I love so much. So we've got it here with the flats, just something casual. And I've got that with my uh, vintage Chanel jacket. And then I just lightened up here a little bit with this pink jacket, the other vintage Chanel jacket that I have, and back with the sandals. And I think these sandals are really great for a short suit. So if you remember, I picked this up last year. Yeah, last year it's a Joseph and I have pants as well. And I have the jacket, which has been a magnet for all kinds of things like blueberries and other things that stain. But amazingly, things have washed out really nicely on this jacket. And it is a bit oversized as well, but I think that this is really great for shorts. Just gives a little bit of a heel, but also isn't super dainty either. I think this is one of my favorite ways to wear this shoe with a long short. And I have here, this is the um, Hermes Picoton that I picked up. Where did I pick this up? Oh yeah, in Hawaii. And this is that sleeveless Reformation top. I have this in cream and also in black. Works really well with a lot of different things. I love a long white skirt. This one is that one that I bought last year. Actually, most of my clothes are from, well, I'm only buying five this year. So all of these things are choices that I made last year that are really very current for this year as well. Not that I follow trends, but a lot of the things that I picked last year actually align well with the trends that they're highlighting this year. I believe a white long white skirt was one of the things I had seen go by as well as blue that was pretty big. But I have here an, a, another vintage Chanel piece. This is a Chanel denim jacket. And I have here a Reformation skirt. It's white, it's also fully lined. And again, that same Reformation shell in my Hermes bag. But this is my perfect just dressed up enough kind of outfit that I like. And as always, comfort is a priority here, so this is a very comfortable outfit. Just did a quick change here. We've got on the same white skirt by Reformation, we have the ballet flats on and the Jimmy Choo clutch. And this top is from Reformation as well. It's really comfortable. I like the neckline on this because it's a little bit more dressed up, almost a boat neck here. So you can see how I can just quickly interchange pieces. They're really versatile pieces that I have here. And I'm planning on doing a video that shows my capsule that I really am getting a lot of use from. Okay, let's get into this one. I noticed these were finally available on um, Nordstrom's site. And I didn't feel like I needed to get all of them. But there was one shade I was really curious about. It did kind of remind me of the Valentino blushes. Um, at least the shade, so I was curious about that. Yeah, because I love Valentino's number nine so much, I wanted to try this. And let me know what shade you want to see, but this one I was really curious about. So this is 00, the lightest one. They actually looked quite intense. I think Guerlain does powder products really well, especially their bronzer is one of my favorites. 
Let me know if you want to see the concealer and the something else new by Guerlain. But let me know if you want to see their new items and which ones specifically. You know, I looked at their concealer and it looked really hard to shade match. So I didn't see that peachy tone, um, you know, that I'm always looking for. Oh, this looks beautiful. So this is a shade and it reminds me a little bit of 09. So we'll be trying that out in an upcoming video. This is a blue version, by the way, of that black dress that I had on earlier. So I do high-low shopping, and this is in that low category because these are things I wear at home. I wear them often, I wash them often, I don't want to have to worry about getting stains on them. So I do keep these for a long time. So even though it's a lower price point, these are things that still last a long time. So this actually is quite nice quality. It's thick and it's ribbed. I don't know if you can tell, but it's ribbed but it's not see-through material and it's mostly cotton, which I like. So it's mostly cotton, just a little bit of spandex or something stretchy in there. And I have this in black as well, which you saw earlier in the try-on. So I'll make sure to list that down below. But this is my Chanel order. I forgot to check the fabric option this time when I order, which I usually do. So I have the box. I had so many requests for this one to please try this to, to find out what I to find out what I think about it. Yes, so I, you can hear about my thoughts about it. And let's see, but this came in a little bag. These are samples. So I will use this for something since we're traveling soon. So I always get a mascara because I feel like I need to try their mascaras because I don't love any of them. This is in the Noir Allure Mascara in 10. And so anytime I can continue to try them again, thinking, I don't know why I think I'll get a different result, but maybe, but maybe I will. And then we've got this number one Chanel. This is the Creme Riche. All of this is just for this right here. So we've got this Rouge Allure Velvet. And the shade that I got is in six o'clock. I really looked at all of the shades. I think the packaging is beautiful. I love this minimalist packaging right there. And it's like a matte finish. It's really pretty, very modern. So it's got this clicking mechanism here. And I looked at all the shades and I thought, which one would I, or which ones would I wear? And there was really only one that I thought I would wear. And it's this one. And it looks a lot deeper than I thought it would look. So we're gonna put a whole look together. We're gonna use that Guerma. We've got some other new products I haven't tried on camera yet. So make sure to tune into that because I know there are always requests to see specific items on. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other. Stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.